Hi, I'm Andrew Harnett with Haas Automation. And today we're going to take a look at a new option for accomplishing dry machining on Haas VMCs. Here with me today is Mark Terryberry. He's one of our applications engineers. And Mark is going to walk us through how this option works. So what do you have for us? Well, this is our new option, our new through tool air blast, TAB for short, option, which, which flows high pressure, uh, high CFM air right through the tool to get chips out of a pocket, really similar to our TSC option with coolant. So this is aimed at people that are doing dry machining, right? Uh, yes. Dry machines become more popular and easier to do with uh, tool coatings like TIALN, titanium aluminum nitrate, for a, a while now. And those allow the tool to go at almost twice the RPM of normal carbide, which means twice the feed rates, which means you know, lower cycle times. Um, but those tools like to run hot and dry. And therefore, that's why we're doing dry machining. Potentially, I can run over those chips that, that I just cut, right? Yeah, that's a big problem. These tools like to run dry, but it's the coolant that normally gets the chips out of the hole. So when it's running dry, it needs our TAB, the air blast plumbed through the system, to get those chips out of the way. If you don't remove the chips, then you're gonna damage your tool. That, that tool is gonna run over the same chips over and over, and it's gonna, it's gonna chip the tool or wear it out, or at least mar up your part finish. And that's why we've got the demo we have today with the TAB system running a deep pocket that would normally be full of chips. So you've got this demo set up for us here. What are we cutting here today? This is mild steel for the demo. Uh, the tools that we're showing off are a 25 millimeter shoulder mill and a 16 millimeter ball nose, both plumbed for through tool air. And um, these are tools that are typically used in a mold shop and they need to run dry. Can we watch this thing run? Yeah, absolutely. So there it is. I can see the tools way down there in that pocket and the chips aren't having a chance to gather down there in the bottom. They're just getting blown right out. And what's also cool is it moved any other random coolant out of the way. And that's good because, you know, it doesn't give a chance at all to thermally shock those inserts. Yeah, even on a shallow pocket without TAB, that tool would have run into that pool of coolant. Right, maybe it maybe affect the wear of those inserts. Yeah, thermal shock. That's great, so whatever's in the way, it's gonna clear it out of the way. So, as I was walking up to the machine earlier, I noticed that you have some interesting tools up in the tool changer. Are those air-driven tools? Yeah, they are. Those are high-speed air-driven spindles, and they're using the TAB air blast option to drive them. So you change those out into the spindle just like a regular 40 taper tool? Yeah, and since they're driven by the TAB option, there's no need for external air lines to be mounted. The air that comes right through the spindle is driving them, and they can go right through the normal tool change process. That's great. So it looks like you're starting off with a really small ball end mill there. Really small. The ball nose is only 30 thousandths of an inch diameter, and we're using it to put a nice crosshatch pattern on the top of our part. And a little bit later, we'll be doing some 3D surfacing with that same tool. And so you're running 30,000, 50,000 RPM, something like that? Or faster. We're, we're going as high as 65,000 RPM with those high speed uh, spindles. We're using that for our engraving and our micro drilling a little bit later on. These are very small tools that take very small chip loads, little bites. So the faster we can turn that spindle, the faster we can feed it and still maintain our perfect chip load. And you've also got the MQL option that's installed in this machine, lubricating those tools. It's a good match. It keeps our, our tools nice and sharp. So that makes TAB even more useful. I can start out with my roughing, and I can keep the chips out of the cut, and I can finish up with this very fine machining and drilling. Yeah, all with the TAB option. Now, with this system, I need to have through spindle coolant installed already on the machine if I want to get through tool air blast installed, right? Yes, the TSC option needs to be installed. The TAB piggybacks on top of that system. Both systems use um, most of the same plumbing to route either coolant or air to the spindle. Is it easy for me to switch back and forth between through spindle coolant and through tool air blast? You bet. Haas has made it pretty easy. From within the G-code program, you can use different M codes for the TSC or the TAB, or from the control panel, the operator can just use the same aux coolant button to either select the through spindle coolant or the through tool air blast. So it's pretty easy. That's great. So I get high pressure coolant when I need that, and I get high pressure air when I need that. That's it. If you were talking to a shop owner, 
What would be the bottom line that you would stress for the reason that they need this option? Some modern tools can run at much higher RPMs with special coatings. Those coatings need to run without coolant. And you're gonna run the risk of running over those chips over and over if you don't have the through tool air blast to get the chips out of there without coolant, dry machining. TAB is essential. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Mark. You bet.